the true story of Siren Head. In the year 1976, a particular photo was taken. Today, like most people at the time, it is considered a fake photo. A monster is depicted in the image. This particular creature, in fact today, is known by the name of Siren Head. It is a monster created by Trevor Henderson. However, many legends are hidden behind this creature, and there are many people who today think that Siren Head really existed, or that it is even somewhere in the world right now. Who is Siren Head? It is a tall, mysterious humanoid creature that is known for its odd appearance and the various sounds that emanate out of its head, which consists of a metallic pole with sirens attached to it. It is about 40 feet tall, about the size of a telephone pole. The arms are long as the length of the body. The skin looks like rusty metal, but is actually dried and mummified skin. Siren Head is a highly skilled predator, using deception and subterfuge to confuse and disorient the victim. It is unclear if or how it gains nourishment from the things it kills. The speakers constantly pump out strange music, odd snippets of conversation, and angrily shouted words and numbers. When it's asleep, it plays white noise. The speakers are the only actual metal on its body, fused with its dried skin. The abdomen and chest show wires pressed against the skin. They writhe when it's agitated. Siren Head will remain motionless while hunting, sometimes for days at a time. It is most frequently seen in rural town areas and in heavy wooded areas. If you look closely, you can see sharp teeth inside the speakers, from which a long tongue full of dripping saliva comes out. This makes us think it is a monster with two mouths. Obviously, to nourish itself, it brings the food to its mouth, chewing it. Furthermore, according to some testimonies, Siren Head is very agile. In fact, it is capable of reaching 200 kilometers an hour of speed. Now that we understand who we are meeting, it's time to get into the true story of this particular and scary creature. First of all, we need to understand that Siren Head is not a terrestrial or man-made creature. It is in fact a being of alien origin, an extraterrestrial. We cannot know for sure how long it has existed. However, scientists are convinced that Siren Head has always been on our planet, probably since prehistoric times. You may be wondering why it has two megaphones instead of a head. Following the story, you will understand. We said it is an alien creature. In fact, Siren Head comes from space. We can't say exactly from where, but definitely not from our solar system. It is assumed that millions of years ago, these extraterrestrial beings arrived on our planet and somehow they became extinct. This is explained by some particular drawings made on the wall of the caves in prehistoric times and by the discovery of some very strange bones in some parts of Asia. These remains had been studied and many archaeologists and scientists were beginning to study their theories. However, no one ever investigated the case. In fact, it was thought that this monster was a superstition invented to scare children and animate Halloween parties. In fact, horror stories, computer games came out on the internet and nobody cared about this news. Most people thought it was fake news. The case was forgotten, but no one knew that a group of scientists in Area 51 had actually been studying this phenomenon for years. These studies were extremely secret and no one was aware of them. It is in fact a group of conspirators who were trying to achieve power through experiments never done before. What did these scientists do? They managed to recreate the alien that lived on our planet more than 10,000 years ago. But how did they do it? Scientists have found that pieces of bone and tissue belonging to a mammoth specimen were actually part of Siren Head. They managed to extract the DNA. This all-important molecule contains all the information needed to create a new life. Although it seems impossible, scientists 
after years of experiments, managed to create the missing specimen. The result was the creature we know today, but without neck and head. This was probably due to an error during the experiment. The scientists then attached a pole with two megaphones equipped with highly developed sensors for orientation. Inside the pole, there is Siren Head's brain connected to a machine capable of transforming electrical signals of the brain into sound waves. The megaphones are then connected to all radios and are capable of manipulating frequencies. Siren Head is therefore capable of recording and producing sounds to communicate. Apparently, it is able to speak even with the voice of a family member. Once this alien was recreated, scientists built a time machine to send it back in time to record the entire history of our planet. Siren Head was sent back in time approximately as long as our planet exists. This now explains primitive human drawings on cave walls and why the alien had two megaphones in prehistoric times. You can't see Siren Head when it hides in the woods. Most of the people in history have never seen or discovered it, although some people have seen it perfectly. Siren Head recorded all the sounds from prehistory and history. Scientists also predicted that the alien could be fed with minerals, but over time, Siren Head developed two mouths inside the megaphones to be able to feed itself. In fact, Many times, some men disappeared when they went into the woods. It is said that during the Middle Ages, some drawings and miniatures of monsters were inspired by Siren Head. A very strange case occurred during the First World War, where in the Russian woods, it is said that a hundred men heard a very loud noise, remaining deaf. Even around 2001, it is said that some men were eaten alive by a monster in the middle of the trees. In the United States, some forests are called Forests of the Deaf. This is because many people became deaf while walking, and also because many strange sounds were recorded. As mentioned earlier, all these events were not taken seriously. There are many superstitions in the world. Siren Head has therefore been present throughout the history of our planet. It has lived in various parts of the world, it moved around at night without being seen. In fact, Siren Head managed to blend into the trees. No one noticed him. The countries most visited by it are the United States, the most wooded part of Latin America, and Russia. The scientists who had sent Siren Head in the past, however, suddenly fell ill. This disease was due to the high radiation they had suffered during experiment. In less than a day, they all died. The news was never published. The experiments had to remain top secret. The scientists managed, before dying, to leave a message recorded in the two megaphones of Siren Head where they communicated all their experiments and studies carried out. Siren Head, around the year 1982, began communicating with the new scientists of Area 51. These men were able to decipher the message and realized that there was a creature of time nearby, a creature that came from the future. Thus, they began to study, in a secret way, this being with megaphones. They managed to find it. Many people claimed to have seen Siren Head with a lantern, a light instead of megaphones. In fact, many are convinced that Siren Head has the ability to change its head. In reality, it is simply an illusion. The two megaphones, with all the frequencies and waves that exist today, emanate particular frequencies for which the victim can see hallucinations and even go into a coma. For this reason, it is extremely difficult to study this alien. However, the scientists will continue to study it in secret. Now, they are also in possession of all the sounds recorded by Siren Head in the past. Siren Head is not particularly aggressive. Usually it attacks only if it is hungry or if it feels observed. But where is Siren Head now? Siren Head is primarily based in the woods, similar to Slender Man, where it will release sounds out of the sirens atop its head in order to lure victims into its trap. 
where it will ultimately kill and eat the victims it is successful in luring. A video game developer known as Modus Interactive ended up creating the first Siren Head video game, named Siren Head. In the game, a hiker is trying to find their lost friend, who they find dead, before Siren Head appears behind the hiker and chases after them. The game ends once the hiker escapes in a vehicle.